Hi, Joe Conyers here with our series of bearing maintenance tips. And for this series, we're going to be using our bearing handbook for electric motors, which is available from any authorized SKF distributor or your local SKF representative. The first tip of the book is called Handle with Care. The first thing it says is never pound directly on a bearing. That would mean something like taking a hammer and pounding on a bearing ring. So when we're mounting a bearing, we, use, we want to use the right tool for the job. Likewise, if I drop the bearing on the ground or even off the table, then I don't want to use the bearing again. It could cause damage inside the bearing called true burnelling. True burnelling is where I drive the roller into the raceway with so much force that it leaves a permanent dent. After I install the bearing, after its first rotation, you'll be hearing noise, and that means it's, you're going to have to do the job over. So don't drop the bearing and don't pound on a bearing. If you have the bearing in your storeroom, we want to store it there horizontally in the original unopened box in a clean, dry place. Well, that makes common sense, but what do people want to do sometimes? To save space, they want to go vertically. This could cause problems with not enough rollers in contact with the raceways. The vibration from the outside could cause a phenomenon called false burnelling inside the bearing. You could call that a false dent. And again, when you install the bearing, you won't notice it until it makes its first rotation. You'll notice it's making noise again, and you'll have to do the job over once again. So. Once I'm finished with that, uh, I can now get ready to install the bearing by pulling it out of the box. Pull it out of the storeroom, take it out of the box, and now you take it out of its pack and wrap, and now it's exposed to the atmosphere. At this point, you could be starting to get dirt into the bearing. So we clean every bearing at the factory down to the five micron particulate level. So any exposure uh, is a potential risk for the bearing. So we don't want to make it worse by putting the bearing, say, on a piece of wood or some unclean work surface that we just happen to have standing by. So make sure your workplace is clean before you get ready to mount the bearings and limit your exposure. If the bearing is still in its box, then we want to make sure that it's on the shelf horizontally, as we mentioned, but also that we turn sealed bearings or shielded bearings uh, over once in a while, say every month or so, to prevent the grease from settling to one side. So turn that bearing over once in a while, and that'll ensure the bearing's in the right place during the startup phase. That's just one of the tips we have in our bearing handbook for electric motors. You can find all the rest of the tips in here in our series of videos, or you can find more information on mounting bearings in our bearing installation and maintenance guide. Thanks for watching.